What's going on guys and welcome back for another Madden 23 Patriots franchise gameplay. For those of you who are new to the channel man, go ahead and do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button. I post a lot of franchise gameplays here on the channel and I would hate for you guys to miss out on a single upload. But for those of you who have been following this Patriots franchise for a while now, we are now in week number 17. The regular season is coming to a close, but first things first, we gotta take care of business here. Taking care of business means with a win today up against the Miami Dolphins at home, by the way, we could end up winning the AFC East. Take a quick look here at the playoff picture. We right, right now we are scheduled to play the Buffalo Bills in the first round of the wild card round. And I found out something. I found out that we are 100% in control of who we play in the playoffs in that first round. If we win today up against the Miami Dolphins, for sure one, Miami's already out of it. They have a record of seven to eight. But if we win today against the Miami Dolphins, win against the Buffalo Bills, then we'll play, we'll play the uh, New York Jets. If we win today up against the Miami Dolphins and we lose the Buffalo Bills tomorrow, then we'll play the Buffalo Bills. So it's really just a pick your poison. Who is it that you want to face? I mean, if I'm being completely honest, if we're going off game for game, I'm perfectly fine with playing the Buffalo Bills. Um, not going to lie, playing that Jets user three times in the year, it feels a little bit awkward. I mean, I definitely feel like I could beat this guy. I um, mean, I beat him in the first first game, and I allowed him to win that second game when we faced the Jets. So, either way, I'm happy with either outcome. But we'll probably what will end up happening is week 18. I'm probably going to bench a lot of my guys, and we'll just rock with all of our backups. So, I'm expecting to lose that week 18 matchup up against the Buffalo Bills just because I want my players 100% healthy for playoffs. I'm not trying to go into playoffs with a whole bunch of injuries. That's never a good look. Never a good outcome happens if you go into the postseason with a bunch of injuries, especially in key areas. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into today's game. Up against the Miami Dolphins, even though I've already played them once this year, I've never played this user. The user that I played week number one up against the Miami Dolphins ended up doing some stuff, ended up breaking league rules, ended up getting himself kicked out. So this is a brand new guy. I believe he joined in like week three or week four. So you can already see he's made a lot of changes to the team. He's added Antonio Gibson. I have no idea what the hell is going on over in Washington. That user has literally just spread all of his players really all over the AFC East. A lot of the AFC East has former Washington players. But yeah, so anyways, definitely going to be looking forward to this game because this is going to be a future matchup just to see how this guy plays. So it's a little bit of a tough one as well. The, like I said, the Miami Dolphins don't have a chance of making the playoffs at all, but who's to say that they don't want to spoil our party, make us wait till week 18 to try to win the AFC East. So we're going to do what we can do. Let's go ahead and get to the game and beat the Dolphins. Welcome to Gillette Stadium as the New England Patriots are in search of a win in their final home game of the regular season as they get ready to match up against the Miami Dolphins. A win today will lock the Patriots in as that number two team in the playoffs and also give them the title of AFC East champions. Marcus Jones has things started off for us as he tries to turn the corner, ends up getting pushed out of bounds at the 30-yard line. And that's where Bailey Zappi in this Patriots office will take over. Zappi's taking a shot deep downfield right away. He's got a man open. It's Nelson Aguilar all the way down to the 28-yard line. Huge gain of over 40-plus yards there to start the game. First down to 10 from the 28. Handoff goes to the running back, Damian Harris. He's able to get a gain of 6 yards to the 22-yard line. Zappi back to throw again. Ends up finding Jacoby Myers underneath on the drag route makes the reception unable to pick up the first down but hurry up offense here for the Patriots from the 20 yard line Bailey Zappi back in the shotgun formation changing the play up here at the line of scrimmage trying to get us in the best set play to pick up this third down and two situation the snap is away Zappi drops back to throw has time to scan the field ends up checking this one down underneath to Damian Harris picks up just enough yardage needed for the first down getting to the 17 yard line first down and 10 and another handoff goes to Damian Harris breaks one tackle but the pursuit is all over top of him stopping him at the line of scrimmage second down and 10 zappy back to throw looking for hunter henry he almost threw an interception there but he got away with one third down and 10 from the 18 yard line we don't want to throw away points here we're going to play it safe
save, hand this ball off to Damian Harris, and we're going to set up a Nick Folk field goal for here from about, what, 32 yards away, and that kick by Nick Folk is going to be up and good. Bit of a disappointing way to end that drive, especially the way that Bailey Zappi started it off with a huge bomb that he threw to Nelson Aguilar. But, I mean, three points is three points. We got the lead, giving the ball back to the Miami Dolphins here, and let's see what our defense can do to stop this Miami offense. First down and 10 here for Tua Tungavaloa. Ends up going to Mike Kosicki underneath. Tackles made there by Jabril Peppers after a gain of seven yards. Second down and three from the 32-yard line. Uh, Tua under center. It turns the hands this ball off to Antonio Gibson, who finds a lot of running room, scampers all the way up to the 46-yard line. Timeout call there by the Miami Dolphins. I have no idea why he called a timeout this early in the game. Ends up handing this ball off to Chase Edmonds. Edmonds has the first down, ends up getting tackled by Devin Cordy at the opposite 38-yard line. First down and 10 here, and this Miami Dolphins team is moving. Tua back to throw, feeling the pressure. He's going down. Jamin Davis coming off the edge, getting a sack on Tua Tagovailoa. Loss of 10 yards on the play. Brings up a second down and 20 from the 48-yard line. Tua back to throw one more time. Quick throw in the flats here. Ends up being complete uh, to Tyreek Hill. Makes the catch but didn't really get any yardage. Ends up gaining six yards. Brings up a third down and 14 from the 42-yard line. Tua back in the shotgun formation yet again, making a bunch of adjustments. He's back to throw. Has time to scan the field. Going deep for Tyreek Hill, but he sailed that one out of bounds. And the Patriots defense holds, forcing a punt on fourth down to 14. And that's exactly how you draw things up. The offense went down the field on their opening drive, put points up on the board. Granted, it was only three points. We would have rather had seven, but points are points. The defense comes out, forces a turn, well, not a turnover, a turnover on downs on their first possession, giving the ball right back to the offense. Bailey Zappi here, second down and 10 from the 20 yard line, hands this ball off to Damian Harris. And oh man, Wilkerson is all over him, stopping him right at the line of scrimmage for nothing gain. Third down and 10, needed conversion here. Zappi has time to throw, ends up going complete to Kendrick Bourne, gets a gain of five yards, but that is five yards too short of the first down marker fourth down and five we're going to end up punting this ball right back to the miami dolphins and we're going to have to go back and try to figure things out on the offensive end seems like we're able to get drives going but not really able to maintain them to end where we ultimately want to be in which is obviously the end zone now first down and 10 here for the miami dolphins back on the field for their second possession of the day handoff goes to antonio gibson and a bit of indecisive running there by antonio gibson didn't know where he went to run that one too. Stopped after a gain of only a yard on the play. Handoff goes to Engel, the fullback, gets his first carry of the day. Ends up gaining three yards there. Gets them to a third down to six from the 35-yard line. Tua back to throw. Has time to scan the field. Throws a jump ball up for Gesicki. And he comes down with that ball at the opposite 38-yard line. Oh, man. I thought that was about to be an interception that he threw up. A perfect lob for Bubba Bowden, but Hey, Mike Kosicki, kudos to you for going high and bringing that ball down. Second down and 11 here after the tackle by Matthew Judon results in a loss of a yard on the play. Play action fake here for Tua. Under pressure again, hit by Matthew Judon, but that pass is complete to Jalen Waddle. Oh, man, Waddle had the first down, but his momentum carried him back across the first down marker. And it's third down and one from the 29-yard line. Tua under center, hands this ball off to Antonio Gibson, who stretched this one wide to the left, has the first down, puts a move on Jonathan. And Jones ends up getting tackled by Matthew Judon at the seven yard line. First down and goal here from the Miami Dolphins, looking to put seven points up on the board. Handoff goes to the fullback in gold, and he is stopped right at the five yard line after a gain of two yards on the play. Great help there by the rest of the defense stopping that fullback, who was definitely fighting, man. Tell you what, I've never seen a fullback fight so hard for extra yardage. Now, hurry up offense here for the Miami Dolphins. Second down and goal from the five yard line. Tua is under center with Ingo back in the backfield. He turns, hands his ball off to Ingo, and Josh Shea is ready for him, stopping him for a huge loss of four yards on the play. Leads to a third down and goal here from the nine yard line now. Tua back to throw, feeling the pressure from Judon again. Ball's on the ground. It's recovered by Jennings. Oh, man, what a play by this Patriots defense. Backed up to the goal line. Matthew Judon comes free, knocking that ball loose. Jennings was just in the right place at the right time. Ends up scooping that ball up, and the Dolphins lead 
the red zone with zero points. And oh man, Isaiah Wynn was injured on that play right there. That's not good as he's motioning towards the sideline to come help him off the field. Second down and three. Handoff goes to Damian Harris. He powers his way forward for a gain of only a yard on the play. And it's an unfortunate abdominal tear there for Isaiah Wynn. He's going to be done for the rest of the day. Third down and two. Zappi needs to get a completion here. He's wanting Jacoby Myers. And oh man, almost threw an interception there on that play. Yet again, Bailey Zappi in this office is unable to get anything going there. They are stonewalled on fourth down and short. Punt this ball back to the Miami Dolphins. And nice return there by Tyreek Hill as he's ushered out of bounds by Jonu Smith. First down and 10 here for Tua after turning the ball over on the fumble last time. Back to the throw. Ends up getting that ball complete to Antonio Gibson who has the catch. Fumbles the ball himself. That one's going to be recovered by Kyle Duggar. What a play there by Jalen Mills. Oh, man, this Patriots team is just playing amazing right now. One guy holds them in bounds while another comes over and rakes away at the ball so someone else can scoop it up. This is the way I love to see my defense playing. Can this continue into playoffs? Second down to eight here, two-minute warning. Handoff goes to Ramondre Stevenson. And just like Damian Harris, he is struggling to find any running room. Gains three yards there, gets us to a third down and five from the 37-yard line. Zappy back to throw one more time. Feeling a little bit of pressure. Releases this one for Hunter Henry. And, oh, man. The pressure caused the young rookie to sail that one too far out of bounds, not even giving his guy a chance to make a play on the ball. Fourth down to five, another punt here by Jake Bailey. Fielded here by Tyreek Hill. Great coverage there on by Bryant, pushes him out of bounds, not allowing that speedster to get anything going. Now Tua back on the field, looking to get his team into the end zone to take this lead. Handoff goes to Antonio Gibson. Bowden tries to bring him down, able to trip him up a little bit for the rest of the guys to go ahead and bring him down at the 46-yard line. One minute and 20 seconds left here in the second quarter, and the Dolphins have one timeout. First down to 10, Tua back to throw, feeling pressure, and that pass is going to be complete to Tyreek Hill. Oh, man, looked like Kyle Duggar for a second there. Had his sight set on an interception. Looked like he was going to be able to make a play on that ball and get it, get it right back to our offense. But, hey, kudos to Tyreek Hill on making a play and stepping up for his team, stepping up for his quarterback on a missed throw there. Now first down and 10, 45 seconds left here in the second quarter. Two is back in the shotgun formation, just taking his sweet time, making adjustment after an adjustment after an adjustment. Handoff goes to Antonio Gibson, picks up his a gain of about eight yards getting to the 32-yard line, and there goes the final timeout there for the Miami Dolphins. Second down and three now from the 32-yard line with 32 seconds. How ironic is that? Tua back to throw. Feeling pressure there from Judon. Gets this away, and that one's going to be caught. Cedric Wilson making a nice catch there over Devin McCourty, dragging his toes inbounds. That's going to be a touchdown. No booth review necessary. That kick is going to give them an official four-point lead here in the second quarter with 27 seconds left here on the clock and now it's time for our offense to get something going we got to figure something out the Dolphins have gotten in the end zone and it's time for us to take the lead back for them Zappy back to throw here on first down and 10 as the Dolphins are playing quarters defense only rushing two here on the play Zappy throws that pass is going to be complete to Hunter Henry we're going to call our first to three timeouts we're still going to see if we can get something going here the Dolphins are still in three deep here first down and 10 for Zappy going for Ramondre Stevenson and oh man Zappy got away with one there that ball should have definitely been intercepted but it ends up being incomplete second down and 10 quick throw here in the flats to Ramondre Stevenson tries to power his way forward does he have the first down he, yes he does we're going to call another timeout there our second with four seconds left final play here before halftime break handoff goes to Damian Harris who gets some decent blocking gets all the way up to the 35 yard line but nothing is able to amount from that we don't have any more time no need for that final timeout and the Patriots go into halftime with a four point deficit and, I mean, at this point, our offense is still just trying to figure things out. We haven't really been able to move the ball since that opening drive where Bailey Zappity had that 42-yard bomb to Nelson Aguilar. I'd like to see that happen again, but uh, I don't know what we can do. And Tua doesn't know what he can do as he is met by Matthew Judon yet again. That sack will cost him 11 yards. Backs his offense up back to a second down and 22 from the 13-yard line. Handoff goes to Antonio Gibbs, and he runs smack dab into a Bentley. And, oh, man, Jalen Waddle is injured on the play. Don't know what it is with Madden and injuring receivers on run plays. Like, it just does not make sense at all. Third down and 22, taking a deep shot downfield. 
Tyreek Hill has that ball. Jalen Mills, oh man. Why does everybody want to pick on Jalen Mills? Like, what, what is up with this? Like, dude has a good game after bouncing back up against uh, Devontae Adams. And now Tyreek Hill's over here showing him, it's like, hey, you want to see what 99 speed can do? Second down to six here from the 30 yard line. To, uh, to an under center here with Chase Edmonds, his running back from the 30 yard line. Handoff goes to Chase Edmonds, has a little bit of running room, breaks the tackle there of Jalen Mills, ends up getting brought down after a gain of two yards though. Third down and four from the 27 yard line. Shotgun formation for Tua, and he's going down again by who? Matthew Judon, the guy who has been visiting Tua for the longest. Now check this play out right here. This is fourth down and 16 from the 40 yard line. This is a 57 yard field goal that this guy's about to attempt. In normal conditions, he could probably make it. But you have a 7-mile-per-hour win against you. He kicks it regardless. That's Marcus Jones who scoops that one up that didn't even have a chance of making it. Marcus Jones is off into the races on the return. Sanders is a kicker, tries to chase him down. You don't have enough speed. Teddy Bridgewater is their last hope. He's able to trip Marcus Jones up, but he recovers. He dances his way into the end zone for a Patriots touchdown, the first Patriots touchdown. Funny enough, that play, I, I was wondering as I was re returning, I was like, what does this count as? Like, I even checked after the game was over. Madden counted this as a fumble recovery for Marcus Jones that he returned like 80 something yards or 90 something yards for a touchdown. Like, I don't know. I was just trying to figure out how those are classified because I know that's not the first time this was ever done. As an interception there by Kyle Duggar, he's very used to getting those interceptions right there, getting the ball right back to the Patriots offense. First down to 10 from the 38-yard line. Bailey Zappi in a beautiful position, almost throws this ball away right back to the Miami Dolphins. Oh, man, I saw Matthew Judon at the last second. I went to throw it to him earlier, but I thought he got bumped off of his route. Second down to 10, quick throw to Kendrick Bourne is complete, but he goes nowhere. Third down and 10 now from the 38-yard line. Zappi back to throw one more time. Trying to set up the screen. Ends up completing that one to Damon Harris. But the pursuit of the Miami Dolphins able to stop him. Nick Folk comes onto the field for a 53-yard field goal with the win in his favor, might I add. His kick is up and good without a problem at all. But, yeah, anyways, back to what I was saying about that field goal that was missed that was returned for a touchdown i know it's been done before in the nfl but i don't i never really thought about how is that classified in the scorebook is it like a kick return is it a punt return like i didn't think it would be a fumble but that's what madden counted it as let me know down in the comment section if you know what it is officially before so i don't know second down to 10 here for tua back to throw ends up completing that pass to Jalen waddle but he is met by bubba Bowden, who's letting the dolphin sideline know it's like hey do not try me Tua back to throw here on third down and six, wanting Cedric Wilson, and oh man, did he make that catch? He did at the 50-yard line. I thought about challenging that one, but challenges never go in my favor in Madden. They never work. First down and 10, handoff goes to the running back, Antonio Gibson. He's able to muscle his way forward for a gain of three yards on the play. Second down and seven from the 48-yard line. Tua hands this ball off to Gibson one more time. Takes a big hit there by Jabril Peppers, and another lineman down, but this time it is not one of the... Uh, New England Patriots lineman, that's Teron Armin, or Armstead, the Dolphins left tackle or right tackle, I don't know, it's not my player, I really don't care. First down to 10 here, two is hurried by Matthew Junon, throws that one out of bounds. It's a shoulder strain for Armstead, the left tackle, he's coming back, don't worry about it. Second down and 10 now from the 39-yard line after the throwaway by Tua. 48 seconds left here in the third quarter. Handoff goes to Chase Edmonds. He's ran over by Bubba Bowden. Balls on the ground, recovered by Jonathan Jones. Oh, man. This man warned you. Do not try him. Bowden is just a dog on this defense. I hate that he says that he's not a scheme fit here because he fits perfectly with this team. Now, oh, see, that's what I get for talking about an injury to the left tackle. Our left tackle goes down. Trent Brown with an injury, and that one definitely did not look good as he's motioning to the sideline to help him off the field as well. Second down to nine here, and yep, it's a shoulder strain for Trent Brown. He's all good. Bring your butt back on the field. We need the help. Our, our de offensive line just cannot handle this defense line at all. The run game is just not non-existent at all. Second down to nine here for Zappi. Quick throw in the flats. Ends up being complete to... 
Kendrick Bourne who stretches forward for the first down. We're now in the fourth quarter, and our offense is still yet to put up any points on this board Well, besides a field goal. They have not crossed the goal line at all. Second out of 10 after that incompletion by Zappi. He's under center here, turns the hands of this ball off to Damon Harris, who yet again is struggling to find any type of running room. 10 rushes for 40 yards for Damon Harris. Definitely not the best day on the ground for him. Third down and eight, Zappi looking for something, anything to come open. Ends up finding Tyquan Thornton, who makes the grab, gaining only one yard on the play. And this Miami Dolphins defense came ready to play today. Fourth down to seven, Jake Bailey will punt this ball away. Tyreek Hill's going to call for a fair catch at the three-yard line. I have no idea what's going on here, but now it's time for a game-winning drive. Miami Dolphins had the ball at their three-yard line. They can go on a four-minute drive here, or actually a six-minute drive, and ice this game. They start things out on the ground there, get a gain of six yards. Second down and four from the nine-yard line. Tua back in the shotgun formation, hands this ball off to Chase Edmonds, who takes another shot but holds on to the ball, gets up to the 13-yard line. First down and 10, Tua under center, hands this ball off to Chase Edmonds one more time, looking for running room off the right side, can't find anywhere. Bentley ends up plugging that gap. Second down and nine from the 14 yard line, Tua back in the shotgun formation, empty set with nobody in the backfield. He's rolling the pocket to his left, firing back across the middle. He has Mike Gesicki, makes the catch down to the 36 yard line, and Armstead is injured yet again, going out of the game. Oh man, with the superstar left tackle being out, this might be the perfect time for the Patriots to bring a little bit of pressure as Bubba Bowden runs through Chase Edmonds yet again. But this time, Edmonds holds on to that ball. The Miami Dolphins go hurry up offense here from the 36 yard line. We have now hit the four minute warning. Tua is changing the play up at the line of scrimmage. He's trying to lead his team back on a come from behind late game victory. Can he do it? It's second down and 10 from the 36 yard line. He's still making adjustments. The snap is away. Tua drops back to throw. Quick throw in the flats here to Chase Edmonds, who gets past one defender, runs right into Kyle Duggar, who sits him down just one yard short. Oh man, things got even rougher for the Miami Dolphins as they get the bad news about their superstar left tackle. He's out for the remainder of this game with a torn labrum, but they hand the ball off to Chase Edmonds. He's able to keep this drive alive, pick it up the first down to the 46 yard line. First down to 10 from the 46 here for Tua. He's under center with Chase Edmonds, who seems to be tired. Edmonds gets the carry here, tries to break this one to the left side. Hit hard there by Bentley after a gain of four yards. Two-minute warning here now from the midfield mark. Chase Edmonds has had his name and number called a lot on this drive, and that continues here on second down to six as he gets him to a third down to two from the 46-yard line. Tua back in the shotgun formation with Chase Edmonds to his left, but he calls the timeout there before he even get the snap away. Definitely did not like what he saw on that one. Third down to two af again after the timeout. Tua back to throw, has time to scan the field, releases this one for Gasicki, and that ball is going to be intercepted by Jonathan Jones. Jonathan Jones might have just won that game there for the New England Patriots. Handoff goes to Damian Harris, and the Dolphins only have one timeout left, and that's going to do it for us in this game. The Miami Dolphins falls to the New England Patriots 13 to 7 in a very strange game. A game where our offense did not even get into the end zone at all. And a game where he made a bunch of adjustments that really just freaking annoyed me. Like he literally made 15 million adjustments before he even snapped the ball. But it's all good. We're going to walk out of here with the win. Just run out the remaining time on the clock. clock. So leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe for more Patriots franchise game plays. It is week 18. It's around the corner, man. Playoff season is almost here. I can't wait to see you guys then. I will catch you in the next one. Later.